Hi, I'm Sai Kumar and I'm working on defect detection using deep learning. So as a part of this project, I'd first like to explain what are defects and why we need to detect them. So defects are very realistic versions of AI generated videos of people doing and saying fictional things. These videos are typically very hard for humans to say if they're fake or original videos. So these videos are usually generated using generated adversarial networks or deep learning algorithms in general, hence the name defects. So basically, these applications have their advantages and disadvantages. Disadvantages are basically we can use these applications to create fake versions of news or people itself. So this is why today's my goal is to detect defects. So as a part of this project, I'm using a data set that was put together by AWS, Facebook and Microsoft together to regulate the use of AI uh, in terms of creating defects. So uh, this data set is uh, a total size of 470 GB of MP4 videos and it contains both the original videos and the AI generated videos of them. So uh, for the initial analysis purposes, I was using only 100 GB of the data, which was about 20,000 videos and each video was 10 seconds long and has a frame rate of 30 frames per second. Each video also have a varying resolution. So this is going to be a huge problem during the, this is going to be a challenge during the modeling of the whole data set and also the class distribution of fake and real videos uh, in this data set is very uh, unbalanced where fake videos outnumber the uh, real videos by a large percentage so uh, to compensate for all these problems i come up with a data flow pipeline where first a video is sent to a video recorder where we convert the video into its frames which is 300 uh, and then I use a neural network based face, face extraction algorithm called uh, BlazeNet to extract only the faces in these uh, videos. These faces are then uh, aug uh, augmented to generate more of the same faces with noise, with additional noise to basically create a robust data set. And they are resized to a fixed size of 256 plus 256 because faces in an image can be uh, of varying sizes and our network needs a fixed size of input and of all the faces that we have generated we then undergo uh, sampling basically to overcome the uh, unbalanced class distributions now these sample faces go through a training phase where we normalize them and then the normalized faces are then sent into a neural network so for this purpose, I've used an efficient net B3 version of neural network, which is all, already a pre-trained neural network. And then this network gives us uh, fake probabilities of each frame in the video. So, but to say if a video is fake or real, we need to average all the probabilities of this, uh, of each video to get the probability that a video is fake. So the overall pipeline goes in this way. And here are a few, uh, more details on this project. So uh, the few augmentations used to generate more redundant data to make the model robust basically are, are random brightness, uh, Gaussian noise and blur and also horizontal flip. And I've performed under sampling of the face videos to balance them with the very less number of real videos. And I've used efficient net uh, B3 parameters, uh, which are 12, 12 million parameters and it uses um, Adam optimizer and with a learning rate of 10 power minus four. And uh, I've used a loss function of log loss. So uh, I've obtained an accuracy of 85.73% on uh, 1734 test videos. So right side, we can see uh, two videos where the upper video is real and the bottom one is fake. So the probability of the real video being fake is 0 0.4, which is 4%. And the probability of uh, the fake video being fake is 99.7 percent. So uh, that's that, that's the result of my model right now. And the few key points to take here are: defect can be detected right now if the fake video is generated by swapping or manipulating only the faces. Uh, it, it can also be detected if the if the video uh, is only 50 percent fake and Right now, my algorithm cannot detect the fake video if the video is real and the audio is fake. So as a future work, I would like to work on more complicated models like efficient B7 and maybe do an ensemble of multiple models to make the model more robust. 
and also you use the audio in these files to detect if uh, the video is fake based on the audio. Uh, that's it from my side. I would like to say a special thank you to uh, Professor Daniel Bury for his guidance and support throughout the semester. Thank you so much for your time.